Master X Media presents a tribute to men that hate their jobs. Series 2. Episode 12. The Crash. I was standing on the door to the restaurant, doing my normal thing, just making sure that I got enough drivers in, that we're not overly full, looking after the customers that come in, making sure they're all nice and fine. Then all of a sudden, I hear a set of tires screeching, another set of tires screeching, and another set of tires screeching, and then a bang, bang, bang. Oh, fuck. I looked through the window, and you had a guy reversing out of the car park and, and a new breach driver who just uh, nudged into the guy that was backing up and then the kid behind him that was driving he really arsed the Uber Eats driver but there was no significant damage it's just a bit of trading of paint I'm looking through the window and just saying yeah it's nothing serious now if everyone's sensible and they all see that it's just a little bit of uh, paint trading then there'll be no problem but no the Uber Eats driver was fine with the guy that backed out and vice versa but then the kid who went into the back of the Uber Eats driver, he decided he was going to run his mouth. And bear in mind, this kid looked like he was uh, 18, maybe even 19, in, in his mummy's car that he's probably drilled a hole in the engine to make it sound like it's fast, but it wasn't. It was a fucking poxy little Ford Fiesta with no body kit, no uh, decent exhaust on there, but it sounded like it was supposedly fast. So he's obviously drilled a hole in the engine. My mummy hasn't noticed. Anyways, I digress. He decided he was going to mouth off at the Uber Eats driver that he had a collision with. And this Uber Eats driver, he was a big Russian. And this Russian, not only was he big, but he was built like a brick shit house. Oh dear. I just know that this fucking chavy little runt is going to run his mouth and this Russian's going to vanish him. You don't want to piss off a Russian, especially a Russian that's built like a brick shit house. And then you had the manager, the other Uber Eats drivers, you had a few other members of staff on the front counter all run to the window to see all this shouting, all the shouting and threats of violence from that stupid little bitch to the Russian. The Russian, you could hear him, he was like, forget about it, yeah? Forget about it, there's no damage, you just got a little bit of paint on, and besides which, you won't hit me up the arse, yeah? It's your fault. Which technically it is, because if you arse end someone, it's your fault. He shouldn't have gone up the arse. And the problem is, the guy who you uh, reversed out, he obviously didn't see the Russian. The Russian did what he could, he, he slammed his brakes on to protect his car from going too far up the arse of the one, of the car that was backing out. But this stupid little chabby cunt, he, he just got really offended. Well, the bottom line is, it is his fault. He should not got up the Russian's ass. Simple as that. If he had a little bit of distance, he wouldn't have even hit the car. He would have had enough time to slam his brakes on as well. But no, he had to be a dick and be a dick towards the Russian. So the little chabby bastard, he squared up to the Russian and the Russian's like, fuck you. He pushed the kid back. Stay two meters away, he shouted. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this kid went flying. Then he decided to come up and try and push the Russian. Now, the Russian, when he was pushed, he moved for no one. I don't even think that another Russian, a similar size, would have been able to move him, even with a massive shove. This kid put all his weight behind him, got nothing. The Russian looked at him, fuck off, he said, fuck off. And he pushed the kid over again. This time he went flying into the bonnet of his car. Oh, get to fuck, he said. What, 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 said, was shouting uh, the kid that went flying. What, 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 I'll have you, I'll get my mates onto you. The Russian went over and grabbed the little boy by the scruff of his neck and shoved him into his own car. Next time you go in my boots, he said. Now fuck off. Wow. You've got everyone, all the customers now looking. You've got 
the customers and staff from all the surrounding shops are watching this Russian just bundle this kid into that into his own car and the Russian he's like move it beat it and everyone's watching this kid and this kid he was embarrassed twice he's been thrown over and now he's been thrown into his own car he drove off like the stupid little bitch he was we didn't see him again for the rest of the day once the Russian had calmed down he got into line and he just come up to me stupid bitch <laughs> and I laughed I laughed hard I'm like we're full mate It'll be five minutes before you get in